Hello, everybody. Good evening to all of you guys and good night to all of you guys. Um, it is July 17th, but I'm here to talk about tomorrow's July 18th uh, morning League of Legends DFS slate. Um, as you guys know, uh, it's a Monday slate. I uh, hope, hope you guys have a good week um, for those of you who are, you know, working during the week. Um, but it's going to be a two game slate, um, as you guys know. On the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, usually it's the two-game Chinese uh, slates, typically. Um, today, um, today's slate's going to be pretty chalky, I think, because we have two big, sizable favorites. Um, but I do want to share with you maybe the kill upside um, aspect of each matchup. And then maybe some individual laners that I really like um, based on the matchup and based on the stats, which kind of translate into my Patreon, where I share my um, prize picks and exact match predictions for those of you who are in fond of betting on esports games, uh, matches, and some prop bets on prize picks. Um, in addition to playing DFS. So yeah, come check it out. Um, if you are interested, we have a good sizable uh, number of Patreons, uh, patrons um, that we always message back and forth. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, for DFS purposes or for betting purposes, please let me know. Um, I constantly interact with our patrons on that website, um, but you can also reach out to me on Twitter. Um, I may be a little slow and responding um, on Twitter. Um, but if I, you know, um, see them, I'll respond to them. I'll share my thoughts. All right. So the first matchup is between Team WE and uh, Anyone's Legend. Anyone's Legend is a sizable favorite at minus 310, which I think it's going to be minus 300-ish uh, by the game time, I think. Um, Anyone's Legend has been a decent team. I think more of like a middle of the pack team. Um, they've been up and down as well, but really that team goes as Betty and Chocho and Xiao Hao go. So the jungle and the bottom lane, Betty has the highest kill, kill participation percentage and kill share percentage. So if you are long stacking anyone's legend, I would highly recommend that you have Betty in there. Um, I would definitely prioritize Betty over Forge. It is very rare. Um, in League of Legends uh, stats, I guess, or metrics purposes, that a player leads both in kill share percentage and kill participation percentage for for the for, for his team, and Betty is doing that. So Betty is a must if you are long stacking anyone's legend. Um, and I, after that, I mean, I like Xiao Hao, like I said, and Cho Cho. Um, I like their jungle and the bottom lane there. But also in the top lane, ZDZ, I think he'll be, he, he has a favorable matchup today against uh, Bio Bio. Bio Bio actually has a very high death rate uh, for himself, which translates to into um, the opponent top laner having a lot of kills. Um, that can, I mean, that obviously can mean different things um, in multiple scenarios, but um, ZDZ, like I said, just based on the matchup against Bio Bio in the laning phase, I think ZDZ should win that matchup. I do think WE has a slight chance, maybe two out of ten, two, two out of ten chance. I think anyone's legend should win eight out of ten matches, in my opinion. Um, I like if you are somehow playing GPP with Team WE, I definitely would focus on Xing. And, uh, and Shing and Shanks, and then Beishang, probably those three in that order. Um, I actually like Shing starting um, at 80 carry. It's just that they're the other, the rest of the team has been really bad, even Beishang. Um, I think Shanks has been okay, in my opinion, but you know, I think this is a game, anyone's legend, this is their game to lose. Um, anyone's legend should win this matchup pretty handedly i think i'm gonna guess that they're gonna win two the zero or two to one it depends how well you think the jungler for team we beishang will play um i think xiao hao is a step above beishang at least in the current form right now i know beishang has been a historically decent and serviceable uh jungler but not this split this split xiao hao has been a better jungler and then Betty and Chocho have, have been a bottom, uh, better bottom lane. 
Um, and then Forge and Shanks, I think that's about the wash. That's about a wash. And I think I like ZDZ better than Bio Bio. So yeah, I mean, like there are more reasons that anyone's legend should win this matchup. And then I'll go over the kill upside for each matchup after this. Uh, matchup analysis between IG and JDG. JDG is a big favorite at minus 1100. And in the LPL, you don't usually get the sizable favorite that, that big. And I think it is due to that, due to the fact that JDG has been playing really well. I mean, they've been playing like one of the elite teams in the LPL, but then Victory 5 lost this morning. And I do think that's going to serve uh, JDG a little more motivation, but also like a little alert that JDG you know, themselves could lose and could get a, you know, upset by, by a team like IG and Victus Gaming by a bottom tier team. And like I said, IG, it has been a bottom tier team. I know they have some talent on that roster, but it just hasn't been working out, especially in the bottom lane. And if you have watched my previous videos, it's just bottom lane experiments have been hurting them a lot. Um, they're sticking with on and wink here today compared to uh, like, you know, the past few weeks um on and wink started the last series and so they're sticking with them but still i just don't see any viable like advantage i mean a path to gaining an, an advantage for ig aside from maybe through the top lane that's about it I mean, I think Kanavi has been lights out for JDG and June is good, but Kanavi is a step above, I think. And then Yagao and Mole. I mean, yeah, I mean, Mole's kind of washed up, I think. Yagao, I like him a lot and his form has been coming up. And then Hope and Missing have been really, really good. And I think Wink is one of the worst players in the LPL. Uh, if you have watched watch my video, Wink is just one of the worst players, I think, in any of the major regions, in my opinion. Um, so I do think Hope and Missing should have an advantage there. And Zika is really good. I mean, Zika for IG in the top lane is really good. And I think he can beat 369, even though 369's form has been coming up as well. I like Zika's advantage there. But all in all, I think JDG has so many more paths to win this game. I like JDG to, you know, JDG likes to engage, initiate and engage in team fights, which IG likes to do as well for some reason but they're not as organized and they don't make as good calls as JDG does. So I like JDG here to win two to zero as well. Um, and this is the matchup right here. IG JDG is the game to target based on the metrics. Uh, this matchup has put the higher odds. Um, I mean, over under total kills um, based on the sports books, but also the combined kills per minute metric that I see um, is higher for this matchup compared to the team WE versus anyone's legend, which is a tad bit lower, but it's a tad bit different. So I think it can kind of flip flop either way, depending on how the game goes. Um, but at the same time, I just haven't seen team WE just explode in terms of like kill or death upside. Um, so I do think this is kind of be, at least based on the statistic, I mean, statistically, I think this is going to be a slower matchup here today. So I would make a short stack of anyone's legend with maybe long stack JDG. I think that's going to be the chalky, uh, that's going to be the chalky uh, cash lineup, I think. Um, depending on who your captain, though, I think, you know, some people may see 369's kill share percentage and then go with him along with uh, anyone's legend, uh, legends uh, ZDZ. Or go more popularly, I think Kanabi Jungle uh, Captain is probably going to be the more popular choice. But it depends. I think, you know, if you can go 369 um, and then the, the Anyone's Legend support at Chocho or go missing with JDG at support and then go with ZDZ in the top lane. I think that's probably going to be the difference maker and the kicker uh, between chalky lineups for cash today. Uh, but for GPP, yeah, I mean, you can play anybody. I mean, you saw a victory five lose to Weibo Gaming this morning. IG, I mean, if they hit everything on cylinders, if they get going in the bottom lane, gain an early advantage, yeah, I mean, I think I can definitely see IG winning, but not very likely. I mean, maybe one out of 10 that IG beats JDG today. Um, and then maybe nine out of 10 JDG beats IG on any given day, actually. I mean, just based on the the, the roster and the form that the, the play style they like to play with um, that doesn't really bode well against IG because IG frankly likes to do similar things 
that JD JDG does, but JDG is just better at that. <laughs> so I like JDG to win, anyone's legend to win. I do think this is the matchup to target for kill kill upside purposes. And then, um, like I said, I share my prize picks based on what I think will happen and based on who I think will gain an early advantage and snowball, hopefully get a lot of kills and hit the over threshold on threshold uh, on, on prize picks and then under based on the opponents and laning phase, I think. I like I have all those picks today on Patreon. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, come check it out. Otherwise, this sponsor, uh, this video was sponsored by um, True DFS. So come check out True DFS uh, for more videos. Otherwise, if you like this video, please hit the like button. It would mean a lot. And to uh, to everybody else who contributed to this video. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you can reach out to me. Feel free to reach out um, on Twitter, pay Patreon, YouTube, Twitter. I already said Twitter, Discord, you name it, um, at DFS Chan. Thanks everybody and have a good one and good luck at, uh, good luck today out there. Otherwise, uh, have a great great weekend. I mean, great week. Thanks. Bye.